following are 10 most significant causes of delays in GCC construction industry. There is one survey which is saying that uh, first of all preparation and approval of drawings. Whenever you are going to start any project, you require proper uh, approved drawing. Okay, so this is the major and the most important thing. Everything is in the order. The first thing matters a lot or matters most to delay your project. Okay, the second thing which delays your project is inadequate early planning of project. If a project is not planned or scheduled as per project management standards, it is not uh, giving you the true critical path. It is not managed as per, uh, you know, cost rules and resource allocations. Your project is not planned properly. It is poor project management. So that is the major second important thing which caused your uh, project to delay because your team leader has no vision. He don't know, but if I use different kind of strategies because all along your project timeline, you are going to meet different kind of challenges. If you don't have a good planning, it means you are going to fail again and again. And that is exhaust of your time so it will extend your project completion rate the third most important thing slowness of owners decision making everything is not on the contractor side we are going to summarize everything uh, in the context of uh, all the parties involved in project stakeholder management uh, decision making for owner is going to import play a very important role if you are not going to give any decision then your work will not be proceeded so that will cause your project to extend the fourth important thing shortage of manpower you don't have that much skilled labor or skilled workmanship then it really will affect on your project completion date Poor site management. Your project site is not properly managed. There are not adequate uh, you know, resources or management. It is also going to affect on your project completion day and productivity. You have assumed that your team will deliver a certain uh, amount of work on daily basis, but due to lack of uh, proper management or due to lack of poor performance, this productivity cannot be fulfilled. And ultimately what happened, it will require extra time. So that is also the most important thing. And then skills of manpower. If your fabricator, if your pipe cutter, or if you're preparing your bridge uh, spiral cages uh, for the piling and all that, and your steel skilled guys are not that much skilled, then they also require extra time that is going to impact on your project completion date. And the third, uh, eighth thing is procurement or material supply. You hire some, or you outsource some resources for project, but those materials or resources are not available on your project site on time. So that is actually going to delay your project. So the ninth most important thing is here, obtaining approval from third party. Let's say there is some project going on, there is road construction, then in the midway of this, uh, uh, you know, uh, work line area, there is a railway crossing. And now you have to get uh, the approval from railway authority or some other authorities like, you know, electricity department or, uh, you know, oil and gas sector, if you're uh, road passing through their areas, you, you need approvals. So if those approvals will not be taken seriously, our third party going to play with you guys, it can also cause your project delay because you cannot uh, continue work until the third party, which is very important as per the local government laws. So that's going to uh, cause your project delay. And then moving on to the uh, then 10th and last point, cash flow. What does it mean by cash flow? If contractor does not have enough money to circulate, to pay to the subcontractors, to the manpower, to the material supply agency, and uh, that is also the major thing which will halt your work and which will cause to delay your project. So smooth cash flow is very important. And there is also the same responsibility lies on the uh, client's shoulders that he or uh, the contractor, the client also uh, make billing and all that on a certain frequency. 
uh, days like after two weeks so that the cash flow will be smooth and work should not be delayed. <laughs>